So hey there. Uh, so before starting this video, I would like to say that one of my articles got published in a newspaper. So just check out the link in the description to check it out. It is basically for those students who will be preparing for their JE Advanced, uh, in, which is coming up recently. So uh, today's video is going to be about uh, those students who are just going to start their JE preparations right now, or even students in their JE, uh, in their drop year. So these are something which you should be knowing in the beginning, which many people do not know, and they suffer a bit uh, because of this reason. So these are some things you should take care of uh, and you should be aware of these. So first thing is that uh, when you prepare, when you start preparing, there will be a lot of students who seem to be very bit smarter than you. Okay, those are students who are raising their hands in every question and answering those things. Basically, those students who have studied a bit of syllabus in their class 10th or 9th. Okay, so let me tell you that 99% of these people do not know anything. They are just bluffing up and making things up. Okay, so if you are one of these students, I would say that okay, it's fine that you know things and I appreciate it, but after one or two months, you will be the same as everyone else. So do not get overconfident because of this. And for those students who are getting affected because of all these students, I would like to say that again, the same thing, do not get affected because you will become the same as in them. Okay. Uh, the second thing is that, uh, which, which I've come from this point is that uh, J preparation is not that easy as you think. Okay. You will struggle a lot. Okay. Because there's a very tectonic shift from class 10th to 11th and many people struggle in that and it's fine to struggle. Everyone does that. So just be prepared for it because you know right now to many of you it might seem that it's going very easy. So it will not be the case soon because the things will only get tougher especially in 12th when you have to study both 11th and 12th uh, uh, parallelly then it becomes really really tough okay be mentally prepared for that. So uh, which brings me to the third point that to go ahead you have to be very strong in your fundamentals okay. So when you go to later chapters like rotational mechanics or electrostatics you will need to have a very good grasp of the earlier topics okay like mechanics and uh, the center of mass and, uh, and gravitation and all of that. So you need to have very strong hold of topics which are taught in class 11th. Okay. So, and even right now, so these topics like vector calculus, mole concept or fundamentals of mathematics, which you are being taught right now, these are really important topics. So just make sure that you do not miss on anything. Okay. If you have any doubt, just go to your teacher, read a book, do anything, check out the internet, just do anything, but have them all clear. Okay, so this is one thing which you all should be really aware of. Uh, then you will regret it, okay, because you will not be able to catch up later. So that was one thing. Uh, then uh, I would also like to say that uh, about a bit of J preparation in general. So this is, as I said, it's not going to be tough, but you know, only one kind of people will succeed. Those people who will learn from their mistakes and to keep on improving for two years, okay. So it doesn't matter if you're scoring 80% right now or you're scoring in negative right now. It does not matter at all. Okay, it does not matter. What matters is that are you learning where you cut, where you got your marks down, okay? If you're scoring minus 10% right now, it's okay, it's all right. Everyone does it, it's perfectly fine, you are okay, you're doing well. What you have to do now is to figure out that why did you get those minus 10%, try to find out which questions were incorrect and try to work on them, okay? Go to your teachers, take your solutions of those tests or, or do anything and just try to figure out okay, what went wrong, what I couldn't do it and try to solve the question again, okay? So if you do this process for 10 years, uh, for 2 years, sorry, if you do this process for 2 years continuously, then you will definitely ace your JE, okay? There is no chance or I'm, I'm not talking of only JE, any NEET or any exam. If you keep on doing this thing, definitely will succeed, okay? No issues at all, okay? So uh, just, just keep on doing this that whenever you are unable to solve a question, get your doubt resolved at that very moment because otherwise those doubts will pile up and you will not be able to do this well. Okay, this is the biggest lesson to take from this video because almost all people take doubts for granted and they will struggle a lot in 12th. Okay, if you keep on building your basics from right now, it's okay, you can do it. Okay, no issues at all. Okay, just keep on bugging your teachers or if you don't have a teacher, try to study from books which are solutions and try to get some help online or do something, something. Okay, these days many online communities offer solutions, okay, for a fee, very small fee. So just try to get into one of those. Uh, so. I don't know, but if uh, maybe you might, uh, if many, if people are interested, I can also build such a community on academy or something where you can, you know, have some mentors. You have a doubt, okay? I mean, that's for later. So uh, just uh, one thing that this is the only thing which you have to remember for the okay? So I just summarize the video that do not get overconfident. You studied much in class 12, class 10. And second thing, do not get demotivated because of such students. Okay, everyone will become leveled. Second thing, JE preparation is not easy. It's going to be struggleful. Be prepared. Okay, you have to study a lot. Try to put in as much, put in as much effort as possible, especially after five, six months because then it really picks up pace. And 
Uh, third thing which I said was that you have to make sure that you do not have doubt, pending doubts. Keep your doubts cleared by your teachers every time, okay? And uh, apart from that, utilize your holidays very well, okay? Whenever you get a 10 day break, do not waste it completely. Try to study a bit, okay? Because that is a time when all your doubts can be cleared. So this is it about the video. Check out the link in the description to read the article which was published in the newspaper. Check out all, uh, check out the other social media handles if you are interested. Check out Academy's link for interesting articles on Z-Preparation and to get mentorship. And you can also check out my blog where I write all of this. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, there are some books linked in the description also. Bye and have a nice day.